State Democratic Chairman Leroy Jones, I saw you on television last weekend saying New Jersey is a blue state. And I thought how it was a purple state when I started out as a reporter 40 years ago. How did it go blue? It, uh, you know, it went blue because, uh, you know, the spirit of the people, uh, you know, in this great state, uh, you know, saw fit to know that, uh, you know, democratic policies and principles, you know, sustain their quality of life. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, why it went blue, along with, uh, you know, the, uh, the political apparatus of, uh, you know, a, a strong Democratic Party, uh, you know, just taking, uh, you know, elections one by one, block by block, municipality by municipality, county by county, and that gets you the state of New Jersey. Well, how do you make sure that it stays blue? It's hard work, Michael. Uh, you know, we have a, uh, you know, a candidate uh, in Phil Murphy and uh, his running mate, Sheila Oliver, that are second to none when it comes to uh, fighting on behalf of New Jerseyans. And, uh, you know, a Democratic, uh, you know, party that is sharply focused on making sure that, uh, you know, that election happens and also looking to continue to build on, uh, you know, legislative, uh, you know, accomplishments and legislative successes in all of the 40 legislative districts across New Jersey. The one wild card in the Phil Murphy, Jack Cetarelli race could be if there's an outbreak of COVID-19 during this fall election season. Do you recognize that as the one thing that could most likely derail your candidate? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, you know, Phil Murphy has been second to none on uh, COVID-19 response, you know, from the standpoint of testing, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, a robust vaccination, uh, you know, program. And, uh, you know, he's relied on the science, Michael. And, uh, you know, that's what separated him, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, from Jack Chitterelli and so many others for that matter. Phil Murphy has been that, that one hero, that one leader uh, you know, across this nation with no doubt and without equivocation has been the governor who has been the responder and the protector of people against COVID. I think that's true until a few months ago when the election started looming ever closer and closer. And instead of just following the science, I think Phil Murphy is following his political instincts a little bit as well. Would you acknowledge that? No, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think that's correct, Michael. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, the governor is, you know, trying to, uh, you know, get back to a state of normalcy here. Uh, you know, as I said, uh, you know, a 70% vaccination rate, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, gets us to, you know, gets us nearer to herd immunity. Uh, you know, again, there are folks that, uh, you know, need to understand that, uh, you know, vaccines are the answer to fighting COVID. And, uh, you know, he's not, uh, you know, he's not, lost, you know, that the intensity to continue to encourage people and sh and show people that the science, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, the way to go and vaccines is how we continue to combat COVID and any, um, you know, any other variant of, uh, you know, this vicious uh, uh, virus. Jack Cedarelli is the Republican nominee. What's his vulnerability? Uh, you know, his vulnerability is he has no message. You know, he's struggling, you know, with trying to separate himself from a Trumpian culture. You know, his message, uh, you know, kind of bottoms out across this state. State Democratic Chairman Leroy Jones, thanks very much for being with us. Michael, it's always a pleasure. It's great to see you, my friend.